Hi, welcome to Lifeboat Tutorials with Molly. Today we're going to be making an infinite bedrock world and that's going to be seamless. So when you put it in your map it will blend perfectly with the bedrock infinite world. First we need to download the programs we need. We're going to start with MCC Tool Chest PE dash setup. You're going to want to click this download button and all of these links will be with the video. We're going to want to go to World Painter next. You're going to want to download the 64-bit version. It is going to ask you to find Java for it. I will have a path on the screen for you to type into your computer so you can find the Java path yourself when it asks. An optional download is Amulet. This is for last minute touch-ups and fixing the terrain. Now that those are downloaded, we're going to want to find a map. Chunkbase.com, which will also have a link with the video. And go to the Bedrock Edition. You are going to want to keep hitting random until you find a big ocean. That's what works best. Alright, let's say we found our world. We're going to open up that seed in Minecraft. Alright, once that world is loaded up, we're going to want to load the chunks. Loading chunks is easy. You're going to want to fly around the world in a pattern. That way all the chunks are loaded. I like to do left to right. You can normally space these at about 100 blocks. But for this video, I'm doing much shorter. Alright, we'll say I loaded all of my chunks there. We're going to want to close out of this and go to MCC Tool Chest. Now that MCC tool chest is open, we are going to go to File, Open, and then you get to choose your Minecraft Bedrock World. It'll have pictures on it so you can find it easily. Load it in. So now we're going to go to Tools, Convert. And we're going to click Java because we want it to be in Java right now. Convert. Just hit OK. Perfect. We're just going to hit close. Now that that's done, we can close out MCC tool chest. We'll need it later though. We're going to open World Painter. All right, then we're going to go to File. Import New World and From Minecraft Map. You're going to want to select the world you just converted. It will be under the same name. There's my world. You're going to want to select the level.dat. And because we want to change this world, I am going to mark do not mark any chunks as read only. Mark chunks containing man-made blocks above ground. We'll make sure that the villages are not touched or any buildings above water are not touched. Mark chunks containing man-made blocks read only. That means underwater as well and in the tunnels and mines. Mark all chunks read only means you can't edit it. But we want to edit it so we're going to go do not mark any chunks as read only. Perfect. Now that the chunks are loaded we can zoom out. This is the zoom out button right here. Awesome. Now to move, you're going to want to use your mouse wheel. Click it down and drag. This is the land we want to edit. 
This is the raise tool and lower tool. Using your scroll wheel will make the cursor bigger or smaller. Left clicking will raise the land. Right clicking will lower the land. We're going to say I want a mountain of some sort. So I'm just going to raise the land. Perfect. Now I'm going to zoom in. I see we've got some ravines here and some sharp drops. So what I'm going to do is use the smooth tool. This is the smooth tool. This will smooth my land. I can also change the intensity to be larger or smaller. Giving it an intensity of 100 will make things go much faster. I'm gonna put that back at 50. All right, I have my island here, but it is definitely made out of stone and sand. I don't want that. I'm gonna click this pen tool go to terrain, grass. I think it would look lovely with some grass. But obviously it's very clear I'm where I make my marks. It's not very blended. To blend it, we're going to click on this spray paint. This will spray it and blend it more. This way it fades off. To undo something, it's Control Z. Now let's say I want grass, but I want a sandy beach. So we're going to go at or above. The water level for Minecraft is 62. So we are going to at or above 64. And all of a sudden, you'll see that there's a border. Anything 64 or lower, is not being painted grass. Now let's say we're ready for the beach. We're going to unclick at or above and we're going to click at or below. It's auto saving. We're going to do 63 and now we're going to choose sand and paint sand in. And anything 63 or below will be painted sand. Now we need some trees. So we're going to go to layers and I'm going to click hmm pine. I like pine trees. We're going to make sure that we are not clicked at at or below 63 and our at or above 64 is clicked because we don't want trees growing on the beach. The intensity is how many trees that are being placed in groups together. So if we go to 100, I'll paint 100 here. It's obviously much darker. And I'll paint an intensity of one right here. We're going to unclick our at or above. And now that we have some pine, we definitely need a biome. So that way animals will spawn. I kind of want it to be taiga. And as soon as you click on a biome, it's going to show you different colors. You're going to want to click on show. So that way after this, you can still see the biome you painted. I only want it above the beach, so I am going to click at or above 64 again. Making sure I'm still on the paintbrush, I'm going to paint my biome on. Alright, that looks good. Alright, before I forget, the last thing you need to do when your land is done is go to Edit, Global Options, Reset All Water or Lava. Go. We're going to go to File, Merge with Minecraft Map. We're only going to merge selected so that way there's not too much to edit and merge. We're going to find the spot we worked on and make sure we highlight everything. We want a nice border of stuff that we have not touched. 
in the land. That way there are no harsh lines. I'm going to do one more because I know I smoothed somewhere down there. We're going to hit OK. We are going to remove all man-made structures. That way if we raise the ground and there was a sunken pirate ship, it will not be there anymore. We're going to merge. Yes. Okay, you're going to want to click OK. Now we're going to want to close out of World Painter. We're going to want to open MCC Tool Chest again. We're then going to open our Bedrock file. We're going to hit Tools, Convert to Bedrock. We're going to hit Live Stream. And we're going to hit Convert. All right, go ahead and hit Close. We're then going to open the level.dat. And we're going to go down to the seed. Here's the random seed. It looks right. This was the seed we started with. So you're going to want to hit save. Now that's saved, let's open our Bedrock Minecraft. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial on Bedrock Infinite Worlds and how to make your land seamless in it. Uh, if you have any questions about your worlds or have any problems, feel free to contact me and ask me questions. Alright, have a wonderful night!